Student onboarding. Student onboarding. We're getting ready to get started. Yes, sir. That's the okay. So about me, my name is Mr. Warren. Um, I'm from Alabama. I taught at KHS uh, about 10 years ago. I have one daughter named Jay, and I got a wife named Toya from Nigeria. About this class, okay? About this class, it's, I know it says environmental systems on your schedules, but um, this class is also going to be involved high level high levels of biology. So I'm calling it enviro bio systems. All right, so we're going to do a lot of biology inside environmental systems while you're taking this class. So uh, to get you ready for the next year's uh, star test in biology as well. So this class will have a mock star and all of this good stuff that I'm going to sh share with you after this student onboarding section um, uh, presentation. Now, it is impossible to fail this class. If you fail this class, you woke up and you said, hey, I want to fail this class because every student will receive a 100 each term, each nine weeks or six weeks. I can't remember which one we own, but you'll receive a 100 instead of starting from zero. So that means you have to maintain your 100 with all the assignments and stuff that I give you to maintain that high grade instead of starting from zero where you might bomb a test and it keeps you in the lower range. All right. Every day, student will receive a PG grade. What, what is a PG grade? It is a performance grade. So it'll be a list of things on the board each day that we'll go through that we have to do. Uh, and if you perform, I ain't asking you to get it right, but if you perform it uh, from the rules all the way, all way through, the work, through the work, then you'll receive a uh, performance grade each day that you'll go in Canva and push true, and then it'll give you a grade and it'll transfer over to Power School, and then you have your 100 for that day. Um, Students love this in the past uh, because, you know, if they make a 60 on a test and then they got all these uh, perform uh, performance grades in the grade book, plus they starting off with 100, it only drops them down to like an 80. That's why it's impossible to fail this class unless you just do not come and uh, or you don't try to work when you come come to my classroom. Okay, the goal is 100%. That's the goal, okay? Because if you can make a 99, my next question is going to be, what What could you have done to get that one point? The goal is 100% on everything that we do as far as the, the test and, and just activities and all of this stuff. You'll see in the classroom once this presentation is over, I'll tell you why the boards are set up the way they are set up for a high-level academic um, uh, competition. So, uh, but the goal is to reach 100%. Like, we don't... We ain't really messing around with like normal grades, like 60s and 70s and all of that. The goal is to move you to the 100% mark and have you ready for the bio test that's coming up next year and also get this credit for this class in the environmental system. So it's going to be a merger of two classes, but the way that I'm going to do it, uh, it's going to be very easy and fun if, uh, you know, we just got to make sure our behavior and everything stays on tag. All right. I love mistakes. As you can see in the classroom, if you look around, you got a big podium to say, I love mistakes. Uh, I'm not looking for you to be perfect. That's why I'm starting you off with 100. That's why I'm, I'm doing performance grades because I don't get any joy out of flunking kids. Like, it doesn't make any sense. My goal is to move the mark for you so that you can increase in what you're doing and, and, and ultimately pass the class by the end of the year and end of the semester. So if you bomb, so if you make the mistake, the authentic mistake, then I get to, I know what to, what to help you at and then move you forward from there. But uh, my goal is not to flunk kids. Like that is, it does nothing for the school. It does nothing for the kid. None of that. As long as you're trying to work, I can make it work for you. So, uh, so I love mistakes. Try to work. Nobody will be allowed to sit in this classroom and not try. Then that's when you'll catch the smoke from me because I'm going to be going crazy about kids that's lazy and does not try. All right, so these are the expectations of the classroom. You're not allowed to not try. That's the first one. I, you're not allowed to not try. That's when you're going, that's when you'll see, see me uh, uh, get onto your case and all of that stuff when you are not trying because there's no way you should fail this class. So if they pull me into a meeting and say, hey, why did little Jimmy fail this class or Sarah fail this class? I'm going to tell them about my grading policy. And now that I tell them about the grading policy, um, I usually get asked to leave because at this point, you know, it's, 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 all, it's all back on you. 
So as a student, you get a, you get a hundred starting the year out in each six week, nine weeks. You get a hundred every day for just performing the work, trying to work, and then we move forward from there. So there's no so you are not allowed not to try. You must perform all work. It does not have to be perfect. Keep your hands in your keep your hands to yourself at all times. Don't be touching other kids or, or you know, uh, playing and all of that stuff because we inside of a classroom, inside of a building, inside of a tight space. Um, no walking out of class for any reason. No walking out of class for any reason. Some of you guys are going to get upset because I'm going to academically press you, uh, but I need you to be able to handle that, handle that pressure because I'm seeing the growth and the only way to grow is the pressure. Uh, no walking, no walking out of class. I just did that one. No disrespect, no disrespecting any of your peers in any sort of way. So if a kid asks a question in the class and then you you deem that is it might be a dumb question, then we don't we're not doing that. We don't we don't deal with that disrespect of kids trying to learn. So uh that's another way to, to uh for me to lace you up as far as the paperwork and all of this stuff. Um uh, no talking or moving when teacher is talking. Like I'm only gonna talk to y'all like six, seven minutes, and everything I'm saying is gold. So I need you to be listening, no moving, no sharpening pencils, no, no, no nothing. Like you listening to the presentation, you're doing what I'm asking you to do inside of the presentation because there's going to be times where I ask you to say stuff while I'm saying stuff and moving and uh, writing what I'm writing uh, to keep you actively engaged throughout the whole presentation of the six to seven minutes. And then you're running, running to your uh, work. Uh, use, the, use the bathroom before you come to class. No restroom breaks. Ladies, we have to have a separate meeting after we finish this onboarding process because uh, I do have a special process for you guys uh, in the event that your, uh, that your menstrual cycle comes on. But for the most part, go to class before you come, go to the restroom before you come to class, before you come to class. All right. Uh, no cell phones. You will not be allowed to enter the room with the cell phone in your pocket, in your backpack. You will turn it in. I will lock it up. Make sure it's safe. We'll do our work, and then I will hand the cell phone back as soon as our work get done. And uh, that's the game because no teaching and learning can go on while you got the cell phone. Uh, for your onboarding process, onboarding process, as you already know, because if you inside the classroom, you turn your cell phone in. I'm taking. I took it up. Now I'm giving it back so we can finish our onboarding process outside of this presentation. But there will be no cell phones. In the classroom, I would take them up before class starts and also is a part of your performance grade. So you actually get points for turning in your cell phone, getting the job done and getting it back. I don't get any joy taking a kid's cell phone and keeping it and all of that. Now it's strictly for learning uh, purposes. You cannot learn when, when you keep getting text messages from Snapchat, Instagram and all of that stuff. And then it takes 15 seconds per, per snap, per ding for you to get back on, on task. So we just eliminating it all together. There's no cell phones of any sort. This also has been sent to your parents. Uh, uh, this, this, this presentation is going to be sent to your parents in a different format, uh, but it's all to make sure that you're highly successful in my class and you don't, you don't fail my class, which is one of the easiest classes not to fail because of the grading policy. All right, backpacks, when you walk in the room, your backpacks will go on the back of each chair. It cannot be on the side. It cannot be in the front. It cannot be up under you. It will be on the back of each chair, or, you, or, um, or you're going to be asked to correct wherever your backpack is. It is not, it's not negotiable. I'm not negotiating with you. I would not talk to you about it. If it's not on the back of the chair, your performance grade gone, and it is what it is. So it has to go on the back of the chair because I have to be able to walk through the room Make sure everybody good. You guys will be moving, doing a lot of stuff, so the so the systematic flow of this classroom can be fluent and perfect. Uh, so the backpacks go in the back of the chair. All right, trash cans. They located in the front. Ones in the front, ones in the back. So nobody that sits in the front should be walking to the back of the classroom. Nobody sitting in the back of the classroom should be walking to the front of the classroom, because that 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 reduces the the traffic and and uh, things happening throughout the classroom. So that we can keep a nice and orderly environment, making sure that we got everything that we need in uh, all aspects of the classroom as far as classroom management is concerned. And we're being highly successful so y'all can get that performance grade and move on and then get, get the actual your authentic grade that you're going to earn, that you're going to surprise yourself that you didn't, you didn't even think you could do. But 
that will come with this type of uh, type of teaching. Um, all right, I got to address the changes in the building. As you can see, we are going to have millions of people on campus. It might be eight people walking in the room at any given time. Uh, the principal might walk in whenever they whenever they deem necessary or whenever they want to do a what they call a spot or whatever to, to check. They want to check on y'all. They want to check on me. It's going to be people here from the state of Texas. It's going to be people here from HISD main office. There's already people here from HR. There's going to be millions of people on campus that you do not know, but they can walk in at any time to make to make sure that that everything is running smooth or get feedback or whatever whatever the case may be. So just continue doing what you're doing, all right? Do, uh, continue your assignment. And uh, if they ask you a question, answer it. If they don't, act like they're not there and keep keep rolling, keep doing what you do. So, uh, but just know that change is here. Um, it's going to be an array of people. It's going to be white, black, Hispanic. Like it's, it's, it's going to be all kind of uh, different nationalities throughout the classroom, throughout the building, um, uh, hoping and, and driving you guys to success by, by observing. So that's what's going on in the building. Now, uh, we're going to have a great year, OK? Remember, I love mistakes. 100% is the goal. And the next presentation that we're going to do through Nearpod, because I'm going to get uh, get your phones back, then we're going to finish signing up for Nearpod. We're going we're gonna to finish signing up for Quizzes by group. We're going to finish signing up for um, uh, some other couple programs that I got for you. But um, to end it, I have no classroom disturbances. Come to class, ready to work, handle your business, get your hundreds, pass the class at the high, high level, and then you're also going to know everything that I teach you with this type of grading system. Because uh, again, don't be the person that fails this class. Don't be that person. My failure rate is only 2%. Like, only 2% of kids have ever failed my class before. So, don't be that person to fail. All right? Come handle your business. Then you leave, and then you come back. Handle your business, you leave, and you come back. Rinse and repeat. All right? So we're going to have a great year. Mr. Warren, let's go ahead and get logged in the near part and so I can finish up the presentation and the onboarding systems that I got for you to make this thing run smooth and make sure you're highly successful. All right. Have a great day.